Hello again and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a super simple easy project because I am still working on moving and I have a full time job now which is taking up a lot of my sewing time. But it means I can buy more fabric. So today we're going to be making a simple fall accessory and that is an apron. I really like the look of aprons. I think it gives outfits a nice historical feel and I think it's great for adding on to some outfits. I have a few dresses that I really love, but sometimes they could use just like a little bit more. So that is what we will be doing today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you'd like to see more from me. I will be doing some bigger projects coming up for the fall. And let me know what your favorite fall accessory is. I'm always looking for something new to spice up my wardrobe. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I have prepped aprons, and I just did this by ironing, and then I ironed the two edges of the apron down. Um, I folded them under once and under again, so just make a simple hem. These are going to be done by hand to help give it that historical touch, and then I'm using this selvage edge as the bottom edge, so I don't have to really touch that very much. I did cut it to how long I wanted it to be. You can't see the bottom of this but it's how long I'd like it to be. And it's super wide, so it's gonna get gathered down to about this much. So it should have a lot of volume at the bottom of the apron without it being too bulky around my waist. And of course I just ruined my nice ironing job by doing that. Now I'm going to hand sew all of these, these two edges. So yeah, let's cut out some straps, I think. Sleepy kitten. Sleepy boy. Hello. So we just strung all of these together with some seams here. The next step besides cutting off this fuzzy selvage is to iron them so that the seam allowances lay flat and then they're going to get folded in half with the seam allowance folded inward so we have one nice finished edge and then we can gather it down. I don't think I'm going to gather it the correct way. I think I'm gonna do what I call dirty gathering, which is attaching the center and the ends and then just kind of pinning it a ton um, so that it lays, so that it, the gathers are attached correctly. Um, yeah, I'm feeling lazy about this. This is a pretty simple thing and I don't think it needs to look perfect to give the effect that I want. So I think that's what we're gonna do next. Um, and then after that's attached, pretty much done. Is that a good pillow? It's just sleepy kitten hours all around, huh? Good girl. Good girl. Go back to sleep.
Well, I'm super happy with how this came out. It's really nice and simple, but I think it adds a lot. I have no idea if it's in frame right now though. Um, I think it's really fun and I think it'll be good to use in both costumes and in everyday wear. And I really like muslin. I know it's like a cheap fabric, but I really enjoy how it lays and how it flows. So I'm super happy with that choice as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, including some much more interesting projects coming up in the very near future. All right, have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye.